What's going on everyone? Austin Chum please here and welcome back to the 100% walkthrough finale of Sky Resort HD with me, Austin Chum plays. In our last episode, we completed the Sky Keep. We already have all the collectibles in the game and we defeated Demise. But now, Girahim took the golden-haired girl and went into the Gate of Time. Now we're going to do a little bit of prep and go through the Gate of Time ourselves. I've actually never walked out here. Oh yeah, sealed grounds. It's now the goddess. <laughs> There's still some of the air air vents on the side. I've never come here. I guarantee a lot of people have played this game and have just never ever come over here. Oh, there's also a backtrack point that I forgot to activate at some point. Now, it's on you how much prep you want to do. And if you're not, you know, the best at uh at at the sword combat, then there's definitely some prep I'm going to recommend. Let's head to the sky. For the final area of the game, you are not going to be utilizing uh, pretty much any equipment. It's mostly just sword and shield. So definitely recommend having your shield, having the two life medals. If you're playing in hero mode, definitely grab one or both heart medals because those may come in handy. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a red potion. It's 20 rupees. And this last potion over here, this is a guardian potion. It costs 200 rupees and it will reduce the amount of damage that you take for three minutes. It's a very expensive potion. I'm sure you're rich by now. We're also going to speak with the potion mixer over here and his baby. And his baby does not have his rattle. Seems weird. You can upgrade the guardian potion to the guardian potion plus. That'll stop you from getting any damage for three minutes. In addition, we can upgrade our heart potions to a potion plus that restores all of our hearts. Let's infuse this and we can upgrade it a second time. And basically, it just acts like two potions in one. And we're going to be doing that. So with that, we now have a guardian potion plus two heart potion pluses and two fairies. It's your option now if you would like to keep the guardian potion plus, which will negate all damage for three minutes, or you could choose to swap one of these fairies out for the potion metal. The potion metal will make it so that this potion will negate all damage for up to six minutes. So you can have no damage for six minutes by having the potion metal and that in your inventory, which funny enough is the same thing as if you were to buy and upgrade a second guardian potion plus. So you're saving yourself some rupees. And I always like to keep one fairy on me just in case, uh, just in case I'm not ready with my heart potion plus, but each of these is going to restore all of my hearts two times. Uh, so that's effectively four servings of 19 and a half hearts. The fairy is only six hearts, but it's in case I don't time it right and I need that little extra bit. Know what I mean? Now would also be a spectacular time for you to grind any and all bugs and treasures for money and upgrades for hero mode. I'm probably going to make a second video on that because I plan on doing that myself because you would like to start the game off with all of the upgrades necessary to do a whole bunch of stuff, which would be a whole bunch helpful for hero mode, which we're going to be presented with at the end of the game. And as soon as we hit A, we are going for it. You ready, guys? Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. I can't hear you. I, I, Captain. Hey, Impa, did you see a creepy looking guy holding Zelda come through here? Oh, you look like you're hurt. It's Girahim. He appeared out of thin air and got the drop on me. How? All you did was stand here forever. Don't worry about me. You must chase after him. Okay. He ran through the great doors in the front of the temple. Oh, is the little sapling still here? Yes, it is. And you're going to grow up be nice and big and strong. Okay. I'm getting distracted too much. Let's go. You know, for a place that just had a giant war, it doesn't look that bad down here. Oh, a whole bunch of fences appeared. Diamond fences. Kirahim be down here at the bottom, doing some creepy dance, being all sexy like, with his diamond pants and diamond hood and diamond necklace and diamond earrings, diamond arms and diamond face. Creepy dude. I don't trust him alone with her. Is he, is he, is he doing a magic trick? Hear me, my hordes. My spell is nearly complete. The Demon King returns. Until then, you will keep that well from interfering with my ritual. I don't care if the whole lot of you get lodged at the end of his blade. You will buy me the time I need. Do not fear him. Fear my wrath if you fail me. All right, before we go down there, we have to fight an entire Bokoblin horde. 
Also, now it's nighttime. Cool. Heroic stance. Very nice. You actually don't need to fight most of these. Okay? There's gonna be a whole bunch of stamina fruits. Most bow goblins, you can just run through the middle of them. When it becomes too much, do a circle attack and then keep it moving. Don't run out of stamina. Only when he puts up the walls do you then need to defeat enemies. And the enemies are the ones that he spawns in. It's these padded ones over here. Oh no, ran out of stamina. These Bokoblins also have a high chance of dropping hearts, so, if necessary, recover your hearts. No, no, no. Aw, oh, it went away. Also, these are Kamikaze Bokoblins. They run up to you with bombs. Obviously, don't, uh, don't get blowed up. Just keep running through the horde. Some of the bomb Bokoblins will actually take care of the other Bokoblins. Oh, apparently they threw a bomb at me. Now we have some moblins to deal with. Okay. The Vokoblins will probably bomb the moblins, so you should be fine. Also, these are wooded shielded moblins, so just cut down their shield. Then you can cut at their belly a whole bunch of times, and you probably don't have to worry that much. Ooh, drop some hearts. Thank you. Once the gate is down... There's now also Bokoblin Archers. Wow, that was a good shot. And that was a fast shot too. I'm impressed. I'm not even mad. Just make your way through the crowd. Find the areas of least resistance. There's now also Kamikaze Bokoblins. Kamikaze Koblins. <laughs> now it's just turning into a tongue twister. Who's he going to spawn in? It's a blue Captain Pokoblin. Come back here. Oh, he ran through the gate. Because of the bombs. Didn't realize that he was able to do that. Ow. Excuse me, sir or ma'am. He likes to run to the back of the lot. I've learned that. Anyways, let's continue down. We're almost at the bottom. And now you have some Bokoblin captains. I mean, in theory, if you want to, you know, use your horn, use your whip and steal them, I guess you could, in theory. Don't know why you would, though. So just run all the way down and you got this. What's he gonna spawn in? Oh! Two Stalfos. Again, remember, blocks their attacks, and their arms fall off, and then they're very easy to defeat. Great. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Just remember, you only need to defeat specific enemies in order to move on to the next area. If you were to stay here and fight all of them, you're literally just wasting time, parts, and Zelda needs you. And then, you just walk through. Gary is gonna make a little fence around Zelda. And there's a big ol' horde. Honestly, just chew your way through them. They're basic bow goblins. they might get a hit or two on you. But if you just hold down the Z button and swing your sword, you can usually defeat all of them without really trying. They also don't really defend that much. From here, Link runs up. The fence is gone. You're far too quick, boy! I realize a simple child like you knows nothing of magic, but spells like this take time and a steady hand. Can you wait quietly like a good boy? You petulant brat, you've pushed me too far. I've waited my whole existence for this. This is my moment. You know what? Fine. If you're so intent on hurrying to your grave, I'll be happy to show you the way. Zelda's now all thrusted into the air and hovering there. This time there will be no heroic escape. I was a fool to toy with you and let you walk away with your life before. I won't make the same mistake again. Uh-oh, the cape is gone. 
That I promise. Now he's surrounded by diamonds. The floor is diamonds. Who makes your floor out of diamonds? That's so tacky. Ready for Garahim 3? Now he's fully black and covered in diamonds. If only I had put you in your place from the very beginning, show a human a little mercy and next thing you know, he thinks himself your equal. Given my station, I had to maintain some semblance of dignity, so I let you run with your life. Twice even. Such a guilty pleasure. But instead of scurrying away like any creature with basic instinct to survive, you just kept coming back again and again and again. I've let a mere boy make a fool of me for the last time you stand before a demon or should, should, or should I say a weapon without mercy. For you, boy, I prepared a most appropriate and humiliating death. I even have a name for it. I call it the Endless Plunge. First, I will take my time bludgeoning you, and when I grow bored of it, I will drive you to the edge and deliver a last strike to send you falling to your doom. Uh, this is actually telling you how to defeat him, so neat stuff. I'll delight in casting your body into this pit and snuffing out the flame of your life. Your broken body will serve a fine sustenance for the Demon King. Okay, then. Demon Lord Girahim, welcome to Girahim 3. Okay, pro tip, don't get hit by him. Instead, you want to hit him left and right and left, ow. And left and right, all the way to the edge, kind of like your sumo wrestling. And then at the very edge, he's gonna fall. And then you perform a fatal blow on his center spike area. He's gonna get up, give him a little bit of room. From here, we continue the left, right. Wait for him to do anything. You can totally deflect with your shield. When he has the purple hands, be careful, because if you hit any of the purple hands while trying to hit him back, it will counter. Again, take your time, go slow. And keep your shield up for when he attacks. After you do it enough times, you're done. <laughs> and now time for the second phase of this. For phase two of this fight, you want to keep your distance from Garahim. And then he's going to take his sword and he's going to do... I think it's called the Demon Strike. No, it's not what I wanted you to do, dog. Ow. Come on, dude. Why are you not doing it? There we go. He's going to do these big red slashes with his sword. And you need to do the same thing. And then you're going to run up and stab him in the belly. Run away again. And you're going to do it again. If you don't do it at the right angle, it's gonna go off to the side like that. Come on. Ow. Come on, dude, don't lick your sword. Do the red thing. Thank you. Damn it. Again, get up and start stabbing him in the tummy. He'll respawn in the middle. You wretched brat. Now he has the big sword. Okay. For the big sword, we are going to... Ow. Get hit, obviously. For the big sword, we are going to attack. And then you need to chip away. I know I may have gotten a little fast there. But essentially, he's going to hold up his sword. And you're going to chip away at it. And then he's going to rotate it. And if you do the wrong direction, then he gets a hit off on you. And as you see right here, you can go very slow with that. There's no reason to rush. And after enough hits, you've defeated Garyheim through phase one, two, and three.
This, this is preposterous. Driven to my knees by a simple child of man. Laughable. No matter how many times we clash, I can't prevail. You think I can't defeat you? You think I can't win, boy? What are you? Ah, but never mind that. Victory is still mine to savor. While we fought, the ritual I started continued. At last, it's complete. The Demon King shall devour the soul of the goddess and resurrect in his full glory. Oh, Zelda's still floating there. Malice starts in the middle. Just like when the Imprisoned showed up. It's the Imprisoned. Remember? He had a curse on him, and that's the reason he assumed that form. And now, he's gonna be, I don't know, eating her, her, the, the goddess aura? And that will lift the curse that stops him in that form, I guess? Things are a little vague right now. But you get the gist of what's going on. Bad things. Bad things. They're winning. Don't you see it? It's all over. You and your kind have lost. This world and everything in it now belongs to darkness. They belong to my master. Check out this dude. With his fire hair. Now this, this is what a bad guy looks like, not Garahim. Welcome back to us, Master. And from the center of him, pulls out an enormous sword. And there's an upside down Triforce on it. That's pretty neat. Garyheem then melts into the sword. So essentially, Garyheem is to that sword what Fee is to your sword. An instrument of the gods. So, you're the chosen knight of the goddess. Intriguing. The goddess lowered herself to a mortal existence to keep me imprisoned. How pathetic. This bag of flesh pales in comparison to the magnificence of her previous form. Hey, it's Groose! Don't worry, Austin. Groose has got this. Did Groose catch her? Did he catch her? He caught her! Yay! Austin J, I, I caught her. She's okay. Man, look at Groose pulling through. Ha. Huh. So you and the other human would stand before obliteration to aid the goddess, would you? How curious, the humans I've known were weak things, hardly more than insects shriveling under rocks and ready to flee at a mere glimpse of me. When last I walked this world, they did little more than scream and cling to their goddess, mewling and praying, counting on her to protect them. How amusing to think those cowards begot someone like you. You grow more fascinating by the second human. I never imagined I'd meet one of your kind who wished to stand against me in battle. Very well then, I shall prepare a place for us where we will not be bothered by distractions. If you still have the courage to face me, seek me there. Ah! Austin, it's all on you. Oh, and listen up, Granny had some info for you. The old girl says it'll take time for that grease spot to absorb Zelda's soul completely. If you can take him down before her soul gets all sucked up into that thing, you might still have a chance. I, I know you can do it. Thanks, Cruz.
He's going to do his version of a Skyward Strike. If you fear for your life, do not follow me. You can spend what little time your world has left cowering and crying. But if you truly desire to raise your blade against the world that I would build, come for me. I've waited eons to return. I can spare a few more moments to let you decide. He waited eons? I thought they said the war just happened between Hylia and him. Okay. So, as soon as you enter that thing, you're gonna go into battle. You have a save bird here, and you could choose to save your game. And it should be noted that after you defeat Demise, you are going to have the option if you want to start in hero mode. And if you do, then it overwrites your current save, so I recommend doing two saves at this time. Also, before I go into battle, I know that there's a stool inside. It hasn't moved in a thousand years. And we can use that stool to recover our hearts. It's also a great time to talk to you about that hero mode that I was talking about. If you do decide to do hero mode, you are going to be able to bring over all of your bugs and all of your treasures. I'm planning on making a full video as far as all the things that you need to farm for hero mode, but this would be the time that that's a thing. And then you can start hero mode with fully upgraded stuff, which would be neat. Oh, and then of course, you know, sell these things off for monies. And also, now that I'm thinking about it, these life medals are giving you two hearts. These bottles are giving you full hearts. So it would probably be better instead of the two heart medals to bring two more potions with you. But there's just something so nice looking about entering the final battle with the full 20 hearts. Know what I mean? Approaching the middle, B's gonna pop out and be like, hey, if you enter this portal, there's a 0% chance that you will be able to return unless you're able to vanquish your foe. Are you ready to proceed? Know that even in the place that lies beyond this portal, I will be with you. And Master, good luck. Thanks, V. You know, you're not that bad. Oh, we teleported. And now in, we're in some weird <laughs> sky place with water. And the sun. And demise. <laughs> Ah, so you decided to meet your end in battle after all. It pleases me greatly to see such misplaced valor, human. Take a moment to appreciate your surroundings, for where we stand shall serve as your tomb for eternity. I mean, it's a nice tomb. The hate for the gods that boiled in my veins. You will taste all of it in the bite of my blade. The only question left is how long you will manage to remain standing before I take your life. Try to keep it interesting for me, would you? And when you do fall, know that your world and everything in it is mine to dominate, mine to subjugate, mine to rule. When I finish with you, you can take solace in knowing your friends and kin will soon follow as I wipe all who oppose me from the face of this world. Now this is a bad guy. This is a real bad guy. It won't be long now, at last. The almighty power I have sought for millennia. I will take the Triforce for my own. And the world shall be under my foot. For eternity. Okay, so welcome to the battle with Demise. First things first, if you want to take this Guardian Potion, now is definitely the time to do it. Oh, you do not want to be far away from him, okay? You want to be up close, have your shield ready. I recommend doing three swipes by three or four swipes you should be able to get a, a hit on him. He will always block your first couple, so that's to be expected. And then you can just backflip away. If you backflip away, he won't really engage you further. You might even get a couple hits off. Boom, 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 boom. Again, you want to stay close to him all the time, except for when he goes for his attack, which you could totally shield instead of backflipping. 
But I don't think he's ever going to be like caught off guard or unbalanced or something. Boom, 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 boom. Backflip. Boom, 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 boom. Backflip. And with the strategy, you pretty much can't lose. And he'll just go into the same pattern. It's going to take a lot of hits. He is, after all, you know, the Demon Lord. There we go. Now he's gonna hop up, and there's gonna be lightning everywhere. Okay, this entire portion of the battle is all about your Skyward Strike versus his. He, ow. So you wanna raise your sword to the sky. He's gonna try to do it too. Joy-Con. Have to calibrate my Joy-Con. Joy-Con. There we go. There we go. Get a bunch of hits in. Oh, I could have probably gotten more hits in. Oh, yeah. So the entire time that he's electrified, you don't want to stay too far away. Because if you're too far away, he's just going to sprint at you. He's also going to do his own Skyward Strike. And if your Skyward Strike hits his, they cancel each other out. Like that. If you do your Skyward Strike while you're close, then he can actually get a hit in on you before you can hit him. Fatal Blow. Your first one will always miss. That's just how it's designed. But now you know what you're doing. And if you hit him enough times, Fatal Blow, and you're done. Honestly, not the hardest boss ever. I mean, if you know what you're doing and like you practice like how to actually like work the controller and your Joy-Con can actually do the Skyward Strike, then yeah, very simple fight. But in case it doesn't work out well, that's the reason I told you to get the potions and you should be good. Extraordinary. You stand as a paragon of your own kind, human. You fight like no man or demon I have ever known, though this is not the end. My hate never perishes. It is born anew, in a cycle with no end. I will rise again. Those like you, those who share the blood of the goddess and the spirit of the hero, they are eternally bound to this curse. An incarnation of my hatred shall ever follow your kind, dooming them to wander a blood-soaked sea of darkness for all time. And yeah, that is Demise's curse. That is the curse that births a Gerudo male every hundred years and Ganondorf has become the, the evil incarnate and everything else like that and all the other evil people powered by the Triforce. And we did it. We're going to seal Demise and the evil inside of the Master Sword. I have confirmed the eradication of the Demon King. His residual consciousness has been absorbed into the Master Sword. And is now sealed away. <laughs> You've done well, Austin J. Thanks, Impa. I like your face paint. Look behind you. Hey, it's Groose and Zelda. Austin J. Thank you. I think it's over. Finally, it's all over. Uh, I have a question, right? So, Zelda went into the back room. And then she went into the cocoon, right? And Impa was hanging out here. And then... 
Zelda woke up after I defeated Demise and I plummeted all of Skyloft into the sealed grounds, right? Cruz says, nice going, you two. You guys were totally amazing. This little adventure I like to call the Legend of Groose. That's a little joke. So Girahim grabbed the Zelda of my time and then brought her through the gate of time. And now correct me if I'm wrong, but Zelda is sleeping inside of the amber on the other side of the doors and she's right next to me. I'm pretty sure that's breaking rules of time travel. Granny was really worried about you two. Don't want to keep the old girl in suspense too long. Impa looks to the side. Oh, something about my sword. Hylia, your grace, or perhaps you prefer Zelda. It pleases me to know you are safe. Master, I must speak with you. Master Austin J, you have successfully protected the Goddess Reborn and defeating Demise, fulfilling your role as the hero of legend. My purpose here is complete. Therefore, I ask you to dissolve our arrangement as master and servant. Drive the sword into the pedestal before you, and I will return to the sword and enter asleep without end. Master, you have achieved the purpose you were chosen to fulfill. Please, set the sword in the pedestal and bring the goddess's mission to an end. Now, Master, it is time to conclude our necessary companionship. <laughs> Hi, Zelda. Follow-up question. Link is putting the Master Sword into this pedestal, right? Inside of the Temple of Hylia, aka the Sealed Grounds Temple. How come, after we go through the Gate of Time, we don't see the sword in the pedestal? Huh? It made the fee sound. Austin J. My purpose was to obey the command of the goddess led to you, the chosen hero of this land, on your quest. When I first awoke and began this task, I perceived it as merely serving my function as a servant to her grace. However, I have to come to consider the information corresponding to the time among the most precious data that I have on record. I do not have the capability to fully understand the human spirit, Austin J. But now, at the end of my journey with you, I am prepared to sleep with the Master Sword forever. I experience a feeling I am unable to identify. <laughs> sleep with the Master Sword forever. Uh, what, until the next journey? Uh, I lack sufficient data to be sure of my conclusion, but I believe this feeling correlates closest to what you people call happiness. Our partnership is at an end, and even as we speak, I feel my consciousness fading away. Before I enter the sleep that calls me to the sword, I wish to relay to you words that are recorded many times over the course of our journey. Many have said them to you thus far, but now I wish to say them for myself. Thank you, <laughs> Master Austin J. May we meet again in another life. This is a great story. <laughs> it really is. Like I get choked up on that as as bad as it is that, you know, I'm leaving the most annoying escort ever. And with Zelda. What? Impa, why? Come with us. Zelda, your grace, you possess the memories of the goddess. You must understand why that is not possible. I'm a being of this age. My place is here.
I... I know that, but... You must return to your own time. I will take care of the gate once you have passed through. I can't do that. You and I have been through so much together. I don't want to leave you alone. Please, Impa, come back with us. Zelda, at the command of the goddess, I passed through the gate of time. I did so to protect you and aid the fight to prevent the world's destruction. The last remnants of demise are decaying slowly within the sword. Someone must stay behind to watch over this blade. His spirit must not reawaken. He must never be allowed to threaten the world again. This is the nature of the task given to my tribe. As a member of the Sheikah, the goddess has chosen guardians. I gladly welcome this duty. <laughs> Zelda, I shall watch over the Triforce. Its power is too great to leave in the grasp of man. Dependence on its might is an invitation to disaster. When it has served its purpose, it must be secreted away to lie dormant once again, the knowledge of its existence hidden from mortal history. These are the words the goddess spoke to me long ago. I remember them well, as do you, I'm sure. Yeah, I know, but still, I want you to come. You're my best friend. Why couldn't Impa and the sword just go with them a thousand years into the future and then they put the sword in the pedestal then and skip a thousand years of demise, you know, possibly breaking out of the sword? Do not despair, Zelda. You and I will surely meet again someday. Oh, and Zelda gives her one of the bracelets that she's wearing. She's got some long arms. I'm just realizing that now. They go down to like her knees. Meanwhile, on the other side of the gate of time, Granny's chilling here. Oh, there's the Master Sword. Okay, it's there now. It's a weird time loop that was created, though. Because it didn't appear there before. That's not how time travel works. And look. Look what Granny has. On her long, lanky arms. It's the bracelet, and her hand is clipping through it. Because it's Impa. Did did you know that already? Did you know that it was Impa? When, leave a comment down below when you figured out when this was Impa. See? I told you we'd meet again. She's like, I got really short, so instead I got a really, really tall hoodie. And now with her journey complete, she evaporates with Zelda's bracelet. Oh no, Zelda's bracelet falls. Okay. It'd be it'd be a real meanie move if she took it with her. It's like when you go to heaven. You know what they say? Make sure to bring a towel. Impa, thank you. Thank you for everything. What's behind the doors? That's where Zelda was sleeping. I guess nothing really, just just a nicer backdrop than a door. Oh man, this orchestra is doing a great job right now. Oh hey, it's Dad. Hi, Dad. Oh, it's my burb and Zelda's burb. Oh, and it's Groose's friends. The one that the the one with the love letters and the one who's really into bugs. Oh, 
Oh, and I'm playing the harp for Zelda to sing. Goose is down here with his friends. Well, Link, I guess it's time to populate this world. Because they're leaving, so... Who's this Patrice girl I hear so much about? <laughs> Look around us, as a child. I always dreamed of a world below. I wanted to see the surface with my own eyes and feel the land's warm breeze on my skin. I... I think I want to live here. I always want to feel solid ground beneath my feet, see the clouds above my head, and watch over the Triforce. <laughs> what about you, Austin J? What will you do now? Well, see, the thing is, there's this girl who watches my items. And, uh, hey look, our birds are flying away. I guess we're stuck here, just you and me. Um, anyways, she's really cool, but I'm all about you. Let's go, Zelda. And that is the beginning of the Royal Hylian family. I think. Unless that's explained in a further game, I don't know. You can start playing in hero mode using save data. Do you want to continue? Your progress up to this point will be deleted. Are you sure you want to play hero mode? Bring it on. As I mentioned before, this is going to be the hero mode. It has a goddess crust over there. And uh, yeah, that list of bugs and stuff that I mentioned before. Now that you know exactly what happens, in your original save, you can go, you can grind all of those things, and once you have a full enough amount of everything, you can then jump into the final fight. You could skip all the cutscenes even more. Well, that's what it was on the original version. And then you could start hero mode up with a huge advantage, which is honestly a lot of fun. Guys, that has been Legend of Zelda 100% walkthrough with me, Austin John Place. Thank you so much for checking out another Zelda game with me. I cannot wait for Untitled Breath of the Wild sequel game coming out next year. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for that, additional Pokemon content, and other things regarding the Nintendo Switch. Until next time, Austin John out.